Hi everybody, welcome to Brick Vault, my name is Mike and today we have a LEGO Batman movie set for you that is the Egghead Mech Food Fight. Now we have built this set on a live stream, if you want to check out this recording I'm going to link it below. This set has 293 pieces, it is recommended for ages 7 to 14 and the set number is 70920. Three minifigures are inside including the awesome Condiment King and a pretty decent build for this Egg Mech. <laughs> The Egg Mech was one of the most interesting sets for me for the 2018 LEGO Batman movie sets line and for $30 you're pretty much getting a lot for your buck. You get 3 minifigures, two of which are exclusive, the Condiment King and the Egghead and also the Mech itself is ridiculous. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Piranha Attack set from the Ninja Go movie in terms of just being super super silly. But before we get into the actual mech, let's start off with the minifigures, starting off with the Batman. This guy doesn't get anything that we have not seen before, the face expressions are the same as in at least one previous set. Also he comes with his cape, the belt that was introduced in the LEGO Batman movie line, and his weapon of choice for this set is a grappling hook gun. However, things become interesting when we move to the other minifigures. This is the egg head and he comes with a special piece for his head, making his an egg shape, of course. And the print for the torso is actually very subtle and simple. The front, you can see some sort of a jacket or vest with only one button uh, locked there. And there is some sort of a necklace with an egg on it and some sort of a golden encrust shirt. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, nothing much else than that. The white legs and the back is completely white. And he also gets a piece of tail coat to uh, complement his outfit. I like this minifigure a lot, but he doesn't get any accessories and he's basically pillocking the Egg Mac. And by far my most favorite minifigure of this set is the Condiment King. I mean, this guy is as cartoony and ridiculous silly as it can possibly get. He gets a backpack with ketchup and mustard tanks and uh, the whips are used for the hoses to provide the ammo for his weapons in the front those stat shooters shoot well catch up and master uh, respectively i guess well his outfit is something also super crazy from cartoon characters i guess you can see his underpants on top of his blue costume there is also the condiment king logo with um, i guess squirts of ketchup and master shooting through it and that contrasts well with his green head that has two face expression uh, one of them is like an angry guy and the other one is uh, that he's about to, um, well, puke or something like that. He has, uh, well, cheeks full of stuff, I guess, mustard, and you can see some marks of mustard on his face as well. The whole glass things on his face reminds me of Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man. I don't know, just a resemblance. And also he comes with a green helmet. Overall, this minifigure is possibly one of the most ridiculous ones from the LEGO Batman movie line, including even so the collectible series. This guy is just uh, over the top and that's why I love him so much. But let's move to the mech itself. You can see that the shape is captured pretty nicely. The main body looks like some sort of an egg, of course, but more of it reminds me of a chicken head. You can see the beak with this uh, use of the one slope in orange at the bottom, it makes a beak. And I think the side dishes are eyes, if you look sideways. Well, it, it kind of looks like that, I'm not really sure. But it also hosts a massive canopy that's a very nice mold for a minifigure inside that has two uh, control levers uh, using those uh, fang pieces. And the minifigure stands inside, so you can either fit Batman or Egghead Man as you wish. And it has a lot of, um, a huge field of view to look at things around the mech. Uh, in the back, you can see a lot of cool stuff here. There is a weapon pack or an ammo pack, basically a hen on a pole with some eggs and there is a sticker saying explosive, which is another pun in this set. So uh, that's why he gets his ammo and, uh, from, and that's how he shoots. I like the detailing here, you can see the hose going through the container to his arm with the weapon. I'm not sure how eggs fit through that hose, but it must look ridiculous, like a snake swallowing something, I guess. 
but it's there and that's a nice detail you get a spare part of that piece just in case you lose it and overall the whole back is not looking bad some sets do have their back sections being you know just simplified but this guy actually looks great from all angles the thing here however is that when you fit the batman in the egg mag the canopy doesn't close because of his cowl you can see there's just little space missing there for the cowl to fit so if you want the batman to ride this thing you have to keep this thing open and speaking of that chicken head, I noticed that if you position the mech sideways like that, you have yourself a sitting chicken tank. You can see this part here holds the back, the legs can, uh, well, look like that, and you can move the arms so it, they look like cannons or just things on the side of your tank. And the cool thing is that, yes, you can position the minifigure sideways, so he actually sits there. Let me just show you, he actually sits there like that and you have yourself a completely new vehicle with some creativity so that's why this is the chicken beak those are the chicken eyes and this is the entire chicken head so completely different vehicle from a completely different perspective the play features are hidden within both arms the right arm of this guy is some sort of a whisker it's called the beat o -matic, as the sticker says and this arm works pretty cool this cog here can move it around it can spin pretty fast it has three fingers that can hold a minifigure if you wish well the weight of the minifigure may just make it not stand forward or top but still it's a pretty good grip i like how this works and it's uh, just a really fun function the left arm is pretty much an egg gun and uh, well it has a massive nozzle you can see here it has a hidden disc shooter underneath which shoots basically um eggs those are fried eggs uh, printed round tiles two by two tiles we get three of this set I put some of them on the arms, not to lose them, because there is no storage space. So I guess this one fits here as a decal, but of course you can use them as munitions for this disc shooter under the arm. I like this part here, there is a printed dish, it says free range, as reference to the free range eggs. And you can see that it has some detailing showing if you want the gun to shoot scrambled or fried eggs, which is pretty cool. And again, I really like the fact that this is not a sticker, it is a full grown print. There is also a small chicken sticker at the top, right next to this uh, thing here, but this doesn't move anything, it's just here for display. I thought for the first time that it would be a mechanism to move the arm, but apparently it's not. The weapons work awesome, but the main thing I like about this mech is that it's so poseable. You can take uh, different positions, balance it out on one leg if you wish, you can take some crazy dance moves if you want, every single thing just moves. Legs are having a lot of points for articulation, a lot of motion and movement can be sprung into this guy same goes for the arms they have at least three points of swiveling so pretty much uh, opportunities possibilities are endless to place this guy the way you want you that makes him i guess a great display set for something funny to have on your desk at even work overall i enjoyed this set very much it falls within the same realm as the lego ninjago movie sets and the batman movie is being so over the top that this set just fits perfectly uh, for what it is, it reminds me for, of the Piranha Attack set that I reviewed not that long ago. And uh, in terms of just being silly, it's on the same page. The Piranha Attack was a small mech looking like a piranha fish. This one is a ridiculous looking egg mech, looks like a chicken or an egg or both. I'm not really sure, but still remember Lego Batman movie was super funny in so many ways, having so many over the top villains that this guy does not really surprise but also does not disappoint and for $30 I think it's very well worth it even though just for the mech and maybe also for the condiment king if you, even if you don't like the other minifigs in the set you should still be able to have a lot of enjoyment from what you get all right and that is it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching as always you can leave a like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this video the egg mech is a pretty cool set I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did anyway thanks so much for watching my name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brickvault. Yeah.